To begin the unlock process, I'm going to press the lock button, which is located on the top right corner of the device. 324. The first thing that's announced is the time. And on this screen, we have the time. We also have Wednesday, June 20th, the date. And finally, slide to unlock, slide or double tap the unlock button itself, which is a virtual button. And it gives me an instruction of either double tapping or sliding my finger to unlock. One thing to note is that you don't have a lot of time from the moment that you press the lock button to start the unlock process until the time that you actually double tap on the unlock button on the screen. In that case, the screen blacks out and the screen goes back into lock position or into a dark standby mode. I'm going to press that button, the lock button once more. 325. And I'm going to locate the unlock button on my screen just by moving my finger around. I will hear a click. Slide to unlock. Slide or double tap. Okay, and then I'm going to double tap. Messages. And double tap to open. And we're back on our home screen. Now, you may have heard voiceover announce slide to unlock, slide or double tap. There are two ways to actually activate the unlock button. One is by double tapping with one finger. The other one is by sliding your finger quickly across the screen. I find that the double tapping uh, method works better for people who are using voiceover, but both methods are actually usable. Let me demonstrate the slide function. Screen lock. 326. Once again, I'm going to find the lock button. Slide to unlock. And then I'm going to slide or double tap. And then I'm going to slide my slide finger. Slide to unlock. And then I'm going to slide my finger to the right side of the screen. Slide to unlock. Slide or double messages. Double tap. The movement is, is definitely manageable, but it, the double tapping method works better for me. Let's also take a moment to explore the information that's available on the lock screen. So we've already encountered the date and time and the unlock button. The other thing that's available on this screen is the status bar. Without unlocking our device, we can check what our battery power is, what our connectivity is, and things of that nature. So let's look at that for a second. Again, the status bar will be available at the top of the screen. 327. 86% battery power. Status bar item. Okay. Double tap to scroll to top. We have 86% battery. Lock. Status bar item. Double tap to scroll to top. The device is locked. Three of three bars. Wi-Fi signal strength. Status bar item. Double tap to scroll to top. Okay. We have three of three Screen bars. Locked. And we have three of three bars of Wi-Fi connectivity before the device timed out. Again. You have to move a little quickly or else the device will time out and go back into standby mode. And that's our lock screen.